Eat good, live well, stay true. Back with a little mukbang drama alert. Going full Keemstar on this shit right now today. Um, regarding this whole hilarious, like, just so ridiculously funny to me, YouTube drama in the mukbang community, ASMR, or whatever community. Uh, I'm not going to name drop or name names or anything. I don't like getting into drama. I think it's, like, hilariously stupid. And that's kind of the perspective I'm going to be coming at uh, about this today. But I do want to just, like, kind of just voice at least how I feel and just, like, how utterly ridiculous it is to me. So um, <laughs> let me just tell you, we got some breakfast here. I just whipped this up. It's 5 in the afternoon. I might look like a little bit of shit. I'm kind of, like, just waking up. Uh, well, not just waking up, but you know what I mean. Uh, I work nights. So, bacon, perfectly cooked. We got some beautiful cheesy scrambled eggs, a little sour cream, a couple green onions. I got some scattered uh, hash brown potatoes in the back here, which I can already tell are going to be annoying AF. Uh, and then some nice sourdough toast. Very country style, crispy, nice loaf. So... So I'm going to catch up with these potatoes and maybe make a little ketchup pool as well while I'm at it. And uh, just get to talking about this whole thing because to me it is hilarious. All right, my first thing to say is this. If you don't know who or what I'm talking about, then that's on you. I'm just not going to name drop any names. I don't want to say really anything other than I will say one name is uh, Nick Acado Avocado has been covering um, this drama, this issue, everything that's been happening. Because he's like sort of, sort of semi-involved, but not really. But he's actually sticking up for the channel that I'm talking about here. So... The channel in question is this dude who essentially made a parody channel of certain like mashups of ASMR and mukbang artists, artists like like we're artists. It's like you eat food on the internet. I guess I cook it and make it look good, and sometimes I take video of it, so that's maybe art like artistic. But if you're one of these people who just eats like and gets like a million subscribers, then like really come on. Anyways, I'm not really a Nick Acado avocado fan. I'm just not into like like drama. Like I'm not into like ridiculous, out, over the top, crazy drama like that. His channel's built off that, and I will say this: that since he's been covering it, he's essentially <laughs> proven. Because I've been very impressed with the way he's like his candor, the way he's speaking on it. very intelligent looking at it from great perspectives he's sticking up for the channel that's gotten like d deleted and demonetized so i'm actually i enjoyed watching those videos because clearly nick Acavo, nick avocados uh other channel he's basically proving that it was built off a drama facade like he's not as ridiculous as he wants to let on and that's just clearly shown by the fact that he can articulate his thoughts and he's very like aware and all there so um i think that's just one thing to note is just clearly he's been playing the whole situation up about him like looking crazy and all this drama and whatever but we know that gets views right so Anyways, this, this channel is getting, like, attacked. It got, like, three strikes, demonetized. And then now there's, like, I guess the people who are coming after him are, like, going to lawyer up and get, like, get lawyers involved and stuff. And this dude is just a little channel, like... Making par parody videos... Muckbangers and ASMR people. 
which to me is like that's completely fine let the man live but these two creators were featured in his videos and they got butt hurt there's no other way to put it but but they got butt hurt like it's obvious at this point that they were just clearly too soft couldn't handle it here's our revenge we're taking you out we're taking you down you gotta go he had like 50k subs but in a pretty short amount of time so more subs than me in like a very short amount of time he had like 12 videos okay that just goes to prove my next point of like we live in a meme world like the internet is a meme YouTube is a meme like the most popular show on the internet is memeing roasting like etc etc you have to assume in the world if there's a community of people who ride for ASMR and mukbang as thick as people do then there's going to be a subculture like a counterculture that fucking hates it i.e. my sister has misophonia she doesn't hate on shit but like she can't stand hearing people eat so there's people like that in the world like so the fact that his channel is growing that quick just goes to show that okay boom like there's definitely people out there that are going to make it their mission to rip on people who do this and that is fine And I don't want to get into logistics, but within fair use, it's true. Like you can take like reaction videos, people reacting to other people's channels, other people's videos. You're allowed to take snippets of people's video and like change them around. And as long as it's not the exact same video that somebody else put up that you just uploaded, that's fair use. So at any point, when you sign up to put yourself on the inter internet and create content, you're signing up for getting roasted. I get, I mean, I'm lucky. I get minimal roasting in my comments, but that doesn't mean I don't get any non-roasting at all. Like t people definitely come at me. Do I give a shit? Fuck no. This is my life over here. I'm eating good. As you can see, I have skills, talents. I know how to do shit with a camera. I know how to edit. I can. I know how to like produce m music for my videos. I know how to cook well. Like I know how to do things. Like this is me and my happiness and my stoked like i'm making money like you can't nobody bring can't nobody hold me down <laughs> can't nobody stop like you know it's just at a certain point you especially you you cannot honestly tell me you can't sit here and honestly tell me that you got to a million subscribers And thought that you were going to be immune to the bullshit. You're immune, you get immunity from the internet coming at you nah bruh not how it works the 
the bigger you get, the more chances you're getting roasted, you're getting outed. For cringe con like some people think this is cringe content, right? I'm not even in disagreement and I do the shit. So that means I'm another extra level of crazy, but like for real, like on a, on a, on a real note, right? If you just think of this, like, unless you're like some delusional, passionate, like I'm, f I like this shit. It's fun, but it's like real shit. Like if my, I, I try to keep this shit as hidden as possible from anybody that I actually know. Cause I know low key, it's fucking weird. Like this shit is weird. Like, who sit and prepares a meal, sits down, eats in front of a camera for other millions of people to watch. We're borderline making like sex noises with our mouth. Like really, like really though, like these eggs, like that sounds like a wet orgasm, right? I get it. It's fucking weird to those who don't understand it. I barely understand it. But I love it. it me, I don't know. It makes me happy. I don't know why. Maybe I just love food. I love creating. I love the interaction. Like, I don't know what it is, but I love it, right? You're going to tell me that it's some base value weird shit, some low-key weird shit. You're, you're not expecting there to be other people on the internet who are going to be like, wow, you guys are fucking weird and not make videos about it. Of course they are going to. Sorry, Snowflake. That's the reality. Like, come on. You're putting yourself into a public forum very openly, very candidly, doing something quite strange. Stay ready. Stay loaded. Like, it's hilarious to me. If I ever made it onto one of those videos where I'm getting parodied and people are gutting me, I literally would understand. Like, I'd be like, yeah, I know. I know. Like, it's fucking weird. It's crazy, right? Like, I would never feel attacked. Anything. You know what I would feel? I'd feel recognized. Like, great. No publicity is bad publicity. Especially in this game. Like, we're playing a numbers game here. Consider that shit free advertising. That being said, when you get to a million subs, right? I guess your ego is such that, well, I don't need anybody else to recognize me. Clearly, I'm being very recognized. And actually, the one person in this instance has like 4 million subs, so whatever. That's the other point, too, is even if this person is feeling like, okay, that's my original content. Now, this person's going to make money off my work, right? At 50k subs, you're making hilariously small money, i.e. me. Take it from somebody who knows what they make a month. It ain't that great, but it's, you know, it helps. <laughs> somebody who's Getting a million views per video and is seemingly, now I might be speculating here, already rich before YouTube, you're making like, especially with the residual coming off all your other videos too, like this person's probably making like 10 grand a month, like maybe even more between sponsorships and placements and shit like that. 
you should be elated. Like shitting your pants happy that you're in the position that you're in. Like you do the most simple task of eating on the internet and you're making like doctor's money more than a doctor's money. Who gives a flying fuck if some dude put you in a couple clips and he's making a couple hundred a month? Like, you're an absolute joke. Like, do you not understand how, like, petty that is? And, like, soft, like, SJW bullshit, like, That is so unbelievably petty. You have more than enough. You can't handle a little clip of you stuff in your face as I'm doing. And somebody puts a little caption like, mm, I'm a vacuum or a human vacuum. Like, you, you put all this on the internet. And you're telling me that you can't handle that. What are you, five? Out of control. Hilarious to me. And it's not even like... That's what I'm saying about... I don't like drama. I'm not into drama. I think drama is... Listen. My ex-girlfriend used to watch... Reality shows where women just yelled at each other. It drove me nuts. I'm so glad that part of my relationship... Or me not having a relationship. That that's out of my life. I don't do mindless, senseless, engaging and yelling at people about things that don't ultimately fucking matter. And that's where I'm coming from on this video. This is my point about even talking about this at all. And this could be just a life lesson for you. Stop taking yourself so seriously. You don't matter that much. Nothing matters that much. Stop taking everything seriously. Like, minimal stress is the way to be. Like, why are you creating... Cre you're creating a stressful problem in your life. Now it's like, oh, there's lawyers. And now there's all these people texting you. and Now you're roped in this, like, are you that bored? Are you making too much money? So you're just this bored now. Oh, well, I'm bored now. I make a million dollars a year. I'm bored, though. Let, let me let me fire it up. Just chill the fuck out. Just take it easy. That's what ASMR is about. Taking it easy. Is that am I wrong? That's my final message. Isn't that what this whole shit was about? Food, comfort, relaxation, making people feel comfortable, easing people's anxious minds. And then, like, you clearly, then the intent of your videos are, are based on a facade. Like, you actually don't give a shit. Right? Because now you're just engaging in, in, in unrelaxing bullshit. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Anyways, that's my fucking six cents. Not two cents, four cents. That was my six cents because I went in on that. But that's just how I'm feeling. So, uh, yeah. This was delicious. Until the next one. Eat good, live well, and fuck, for please, for God's sake, stay true. <laughs> okay? Peace.